the last time I ordered this set at AliExpress. The seller did not ship it, and I got my money back. So that was last year. It's been a few months. And now I got this from a different seller. It shipped, and here it is. So my second time ordering this, and I got it. So here are the pieces all scattered. According to my tracking, there are two packages and I received one. So I'm not sure if that's a glitch. We'll find out when I'm building this, if I'm missing pieces, then that means it's in the other uh, shipment coming. But anyways, here it is, assemble block. Got this for a little over $70 at AliExpress. Free shipping, instruction book. And sticker sheets. Pretty big. Not really going to be a speed build here. So let's continue on and build it. Show you the finished product. Here's a set complete. Your instruction book, the vehicle. You have five minifigs plus four, nine minifigs total. Extra pieces. And I'm not sure where this goes, if that's extra or I miss something in the steps. You do have a fuel container and your spent sticker sheet. I took all the stickers except for one here, number 28, where's that, 27, could not find it in the instruction book, so anybody building this set, let me know where I missed it at, including this one, so it's a lot to go through, I'd rather not go through it again, this took me about 5 hours to build, you do have lots of accessories here, and I think too many accessories this is just a lot so you have just a crap load axes you have guns you have knives just tools walkie talkies so i won't even uh, open these up there's just too much and you've got nine minifigures the minifigures are better quality than other clone brands so printing is very good too no alternate facial expressions you get printings on the sides as well as the back the vehicle is just way too large for me to do a 360 on my platform So it's been a while since I built with Sembo Block, and my opinion, I don't remember before, but when I build this, it reminds me so much of Oxford, just the way the blocks feel, the way the blocks um, work together, feels a lot like Oxford to me. The axles are very good, so usually with these clone brands, the Technic pieces are not that good, but this is pretty good, so are the bricks. The only bad thing are the stickers. These stickers are the worst stickers ever. They are garbage. You could look here. That's supposed to be camo. These are supposed to be the same color. But yeah, stickers are garbage. Blocks are good though. Minifigs are good. 
you do have a few doors on the sides that open. You can put accessories in there if they fit. So three doors on each side. And you got the wheels. These are actually printed. So out of this whole set, these are the only things that are printed. You do have these stabilizers that come down. So one here and one here and also on the other sides as well. So no problems with these stabilizers. The other missile trucks I've built, the stabilizers always broke or came off. So the Sembo Block 1 is pretty good. The only problem as I was building this was this kept on coming off because I kept on bumping on that piece. That's the only reason, but you can see too. There's also doors on each side that open. So you can open these doors. And then of course you have the same doors on this side too that open rolls well too all the wheels touch the ground on the back of vehicle there's a knob turn it and it causes the wheels to turn so you can steer them and also too the most important function of this vehicle is Oh, the knob came off, but that's not it. This is it. And you do have a missile, which is really hard to take out and put in. Yeah, it's stuck. I'm not able to take it out unless I take this apart. But here's what it looks like. It's just the tip of the missile, really, so nothing too exciting. There is a part here that you can use to... Hold the missile silos up. And going through the front, you do have a little hatch that opens the engine compartment. You can see little engine. And accessibility. Very simple. So you can put a minifig in. Let's see if you can enclose them in there. And yes, he fits. Same thing on the other side. You can do the same. So that's pretty much all the functions, except for one more, which I didn't even know until I got this. So on each side, there's a switch. Let's turn it on. And voila, it has working lights. Also, two came with batteries, so this set was pretty much complete from the get-go. So before I conclude my review, I just want to mention the instruction book. I had a problem with this here. You have one and one. Of these plates but slight variation so it's kind of hard to tell you can tell here so that's the reddish brown and dark green pieces i had a problem finding those and trying to see which one was which so that took me a while to build this that's why it took me five hours but some people probably won't have the same problem as me with the colors, but I did, so this build wasn't that enjoyable for that part, but everything else was, was pretty decent and fun. Like, building the cab was fun. So, let's conclude this review. So, for roughly $70 at AliExpress, this is a pretty, pretty good kit. 1,585 pieces with 9 minifigs and... The most minifigs out of all the missile trucks I've built. And probably the best out of all the um, quality of blocks are better than Enlighten now in my opinion. Because Enlighten sticks good really easy. But for some reason Enlighten comes off really easy. So symbol block to me like I said is like Oxford blocks. And I like, I like the quality. However the stickers like I said are garbage. You can look at this now, it's just coming right off. And the camo, it's supposed to match. They, these are clear stickers, so it doesn't work well for this. So it's a hit and miss. Blocks are good, everything is good, the figures are good. Stickers suck. The most redeeming factor on this thing are the lights, the functional lights, and the steering. So to me, it's worth it. In my opinion, to get this for that price, this brickhead boy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>